Hello and welcome back once again to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. It's November 15th, 2011 and today we're here to talk about the new Sandy Bridge E or Sandy Bridge Extreme, depending on who you talk to, release. We're going to be taking a look at their new i7-3960 CPU. Now this is the new 6-core CPU from these guys and it features a whole lot of new stuff including the LGA 2011 ZIF package. What is that? That's your zero and force and slot package where you put the CPU onto the motherboard. This thing is is not for the meek of wallet. The CPU is going to hit the market at about $1,050, but I just want to say something right off the bat before you guys leave crazy comments. When I first bought my CPU a long time ago, I bought a Pentium, standard Pentium, 100 megahertz CPU. I paid $1,050 for it. So I have to say that inflation is kind of being kind to us as the end user because think about it. For that same money that I paid for that, you know, 100 megahertz processor, here I can buy the 3960 at the same price. Now, one thing to take note, this CPU when you buy it comes with absolutely no cooling at all, but it's recommended that you use water cooling and they even have their own liquid water cooling solution that's available for you to buy to go along with this, as well as many aftermarket ones. And let's just be real, any enthusiast out there who's gonna be doing overclocking or serious gaming, nine times out of 10, you buy the CPU, you get inside the box, you grab that little retail heat sink, and where does it go? Either on a shelf, or in your trash can. You know it as well as I. So that said, let's jump in. Let's take a look at the features of the CPU, how well it overclocks, and at the end of the day, why would you wanna buy this new Intel i7-3960E? Let's go. Now let's take a look at some of the technology that this new Intel i7-3960 has. It has six cores. It also can use 12 threads via Intel's hyperthreading technology. Features Intel Turbo Boost 2.0 technology, which allows the CPU to overclock to 3.9 gigahertz in specified programs and applications that need it. Also supports Intel's LGA Socket 2011 technology for Intel's X79 motherboards. Now these X79 motherboards, they're gonna be pretty cool. They're gonna feature up to 64 gigabytes of memory on some, and they also support the new 3.0 standard for the PCI Express lanes. Also, you have up to 15 megabytes of Intel Smart Cache on the CPU. It also features an integrated memory controller that features a whopping four channels of DDR3 1600 megahertz memory support. Most of the other motherboards started off at 1333. Also supports Intel's AVX and EX extensions and has 40 PCI Express lanes more than any other CPU ever out. This will really help gamers a lot as it frees up things for SLI and Crossfire configurations. Also supports SSE 4.1 and SSE 4.2 instructions. Now that you guys have seen all the features, first I want to show you guys how I overclock the CPU and then we'll move on to the performance. One of the very first things that most enthusiasts and gamers always ask about is overclocking. Now, I tried overclocking that bulldozer when it came out and I had absolutely no luck with it out of the gate. It was just terrible. With the i7-3960E, I've had a way different experience. Right out of the box, using the new ASUS X79 Sabertooth motherboard and their ASUS AI suite, I was easily able to overclock to 4.2 and the Cinebench score went through the roof. Check out these screenshots first of the CPU run in overclock mode, and then let's move on and let's check out the full performance scores run in standard mode at 3.3 gigahertz. <laughs> So many of you guys out there are going to be saying, oh man, for a gamer, I can go buy this cheap AMD, blah, blah, blah. I can go buy the i7-2500K. Let's just stop you right there. Stop in your tracks. Although this CPU does feature all the latest and greatest things for gamers, including multiple PCI lanes, it's puts new PCI 3.0 standard, all that stuff, 
that's only really a tip of the iceberg about what this thing is all about. This thing's really a workstation geared CPU. Look at the price, it's $1,050. That's not for the Meek of Wallet. But here are some of the really cool things that I found out just about this thing. First of all, synthetic test, they only show you one aspect of how the CPU runs. My thing was, is how long can I actually run this computer in a bunch of different simulations and try to take it to the ground? What I mean by that is I'm downloading stuff off the internet. I'm opening up Photoshop. I'm editing things. On another thing, I'm transferring music. Then I'm going on the internet and just looking at stuff and doing this stuff constantly, opening multiple windows up, closing them up, opening them up, running them up without ever restarting the computer. The thing about this platform that blows me away completely in the X79 is how long this thing can keep going. No matter what I threw at it, the system never really bogged down. So right then off the bat, you know you're getting superior memory management because it never slows down. You don't have to restart the computer to clean all your memory to keep it going. That is awesome. Also, for you guys out there who want to run a music studio and you guys use Pro Tools, this thing works amazing. I took my new Focusrite Sapphire 40, hooked it up to it, installed my Pro Tools 9, went and started using it, absolutely no problem. Only one thing to take note of, you may have to use a legacy driver for the IEEE, but beyond that, everything worked flawless. So if you're really looking for something that's overall gonna solve all your PC needs, then you're gonna be looking for the i7-3960. It's the top of the line CPU for a reason. It beats everything on the market, and in multitasking, content creation, video editing, all of that stuff, it's just the most superior CPU I've ever seen, ever, since I've been in the industry. I give Intel a thumbs up. It's an editor's choice here on motherboards.org, and it's gonna be a serious hot product because many people out there who are just looking for a new boost in their old technology are gonna jump on this right away. And for you folks out there who are looking to get rid of the old X58, guess what? X79 is now in town.